the kitchen. All right, so I've got the recipe for today, the recipe of the day, one of the top 50 healthiest foods. Today is walnuts. Wow. Look at that. All right, so I'm making granola. I absolutely love granola, but I don't like the granola that you buy in the store because it's full of yucky refined sugar. So I, I love to make my own granola. The first time I made my own granola was probably about 19 years ago when my husband was on a business trip and I made some because uh, I was staying over at my parents' house and I got this really cool recipe book and I decided to try it and I absolutely love it. So even though the, re the uh, ingredient of the day is walnuts, a lot of these other ingredients are also on the top 50 healthiest foods list. And I'm not going to tell you which ones they are. But you'll see as uh, the next 50 days plays out. Oh, there's a stink bug in here. Excellent. <laughs> so let's get started. Basically, this is two, you know, um, types of ingredients that get melded together. It's the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. So you don't have to use the ones that I'm using. You could substitute ones that you like better perhaps, but you have to keep the same formula. Otherwise it's not gonna work right. So over here I have two cups of gluten-free oats. You need this in it. This can be a substitution. Uh, you have the walnuts. This is one cup of walnuts. And here's a little hint. If you haven't chopped yours, you don't have to get out a food processor or anything. Just take like a little bowl and, you know, press down in the bowl. These are already pretty small. And you press on it and it just breaks like really easily. So I've got one cup of uh, walnuts. You can use pecans, you can use almonds, you can use whatever you want. And my cat's playing on the piano over there, so. <laughs> a half a cup of cranberries, dried cranberries. You can use raisins, you could use Whatever else is dried like this, you could probably even use dates if you chop them up small enough. Um, three quarters of a cup of buckwheat groats. I'm using these because they're gluten free. You could also use pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, anything like that. So what it is, is you're putting all the dry ingredients in one bowl. And then you're going to mix the wet ones and then get it all together. So half a teaspoon of sea salt. And I'm using pumpkin pie spice for my spice with the cinnamon in it. But you could totally use cinnamon and nutmeg. Anything that equals one teaspoon. So you want to put all of that in there and get that all mixed up. So I'm going to mix that in a minute. But first I just want to show you what the wet ingredients are. You've got a quarter cup of medjool dates. You've got a quarter cup of coconut oil. This is like the quarter cup club. And we're going to put in also a quarter cup of agave. If you don't have agave, you could use maple syrup and honey, any combination. It would probably work just as well. But I really like the taste of agave, and this one is honey flavored agave. So remember the little trick do your oil first, and then do the sugar, and it won't stick in the uh, measuring cup. Yeah, pretty slick, right? Mm. And also in there, you're going to want to put about a teaspoon or two of pure vanilla. But again, if you don't have pure vanilla and you want to use vanilla extract, it'll be okay. Don't worry about it. So we're going to blend this up in the Ninja, and then I will show you what happens. All right, so <laughs> that was a little work because uh, the coconut oil gets uh, solid at room temperature, especially if it's cold. So you might want to add just a couple of tablespoons of warm water or my little trick, I used a hair dryer and it melted, it kept the coconut oil um, pretty melty. So you want to, that's what it looks like when you blend it all up. Puke. Yeah, make sure you get all those dates um, nice and small because you don't want to get a big mouthful of date. It's not going to be good. So you got to do a good job scraping all that out of the blender. It's better to use a small blender because it'll just like explode over the sides of the blender and it won't get really blended too well unless you use a pretty small one. So I'm going to get all that stuff out in a minute. But um, you're just going to want to mix this together until it's all mixed up. And then once everything gets all coated, you know, like a Rice Krispie treat, you're going to put it on a cookie sheet with parchment paper and bake it in the oven 300 degrees 
for 25 minutes and every 10 minutes give it a stir and then let it cool completely and then we'll check back all right so it's all ready are you ready to tasty taste it yeah there it is it looks amazing and while you're doing that i'm going to tell you what i forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video about all the amazing things that walnuts are good for and can do for you they're great for your heart because they have omega-3s they um thank you <laughs> as i read of course i'm going to link it in the down bar and all of the ingredients and quantities will be in the down bar as well. So they're great for your heart. Um, they beat inflammatory disease as they raise your immunity. They're really good for your skin. They're good to eat when you're pregnant because they have a B complex vitamins in them. And uh, they have manganese, which we know is really good to regulate your heart rate. So they're also good for constipation <laughs> and beautiful hair and to help you lose weight. So you can read about all those things in the down bar. I hope you make this because it Why really- Why don't you have a tasty taste? I already had some before. Really, really good. And it's not like sugary sweet. It's like just enough sweet. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Yeah. So check it out. Let me know how you like it. And until next time, much love.